Hello and uh, welcome to this lecture which I title Using YouTube Royalty-Free Music for Your Projects. Did you know that the YouTube Creator Studio contains a very large library of royalty-free music that you can create for your own content creation projects? In addition to this library, if you have a song you wish to use of your own, you can check it against the Google slash YouTube song inventory to find out what rights you can obtain to use the music you desire as part of your content creation project. It will let you know if you can use the music for a commercial video or for an unmonetized video only and what countries you can use it in, along with other relevant restrictions that may be relevant to your use of that music. Following are some screens that illustrate how you use these features on YouTube. First, log into your Creator Studio environment on YouTube. If you don't have one yet, you can create one at YouTube.com. Just do a Google search for YouTube Creator Studio to find the link to set up your account and then follow the instructions. Once into your Creator Studio account, you will see a list of options on the left side of your screen. Click on the bottom option that says Create and the following audio library screen will appear. Notice that you have a list of both free music and sound effects that you can download for your creations. If you click on any of the song titles, a notice below it will appear that states you're free to use this song and monetize your video. As you can see, there are two quite extensive lists of audios here that provide you with numerous options to add music or sound effects to your video creation and you won't get into any royalty infringement issues if you use this content to create a commercial monetized product. Next, take a look at the blue bar at the top of the screen that says, Have different music in your video? Check its copyright policies. Click on the Check its copyright policies part of the bar or on the Music Policies tab on the left side menu and you will be taken to the Music Policies screen. Here you will find a very large list of songs to choose from and by clicking on the down arrows such as I did as an example in this screen, you will be able to see what your creation and distribution rights are for each song in this list. To save having to scroll down the very long list to find the song you are interested in, just type in the name or part of the name of the song you are interested in in the search music box at the top right of this screen and either hit enter or click on the magnifying glass to be taken to your selection. I did this using A Bridge Over Troubled Water as an example and you can see that a great many versions of this song appeared on the next screen. Find the version that relates to you, hit the down arrow as done before, and you will be able to view the distribution rights you as a creator have to that song and artist. As a summary note, YouTube also has under the Create tab a video editor product. It allows you to import starting videos, photos, text, etc. and edit it and also allows you to add closed captioning and transition special effects in addition to the music. It is not as good as commercial products you can purchase for as little as about $100, but if you are really tight on budget or have a $0 budget, you can do your video editing right within the YouTube platform. That's all for this lecture. Bye for now.